location or application product specialist, going to go over reloading the interrogator liquid system. There's two ways that we can reload this liquid system. We can either push it on using an external pump, or we can use the onboard pump to reload the interrogator product tank. First, we'll go over the external pump reloading. So first, we'll verify that the sump valve is open. And then we'll take the hose from the transfer tank, hook it up to the interrogator, make sure that the tank on the tender is open, open the valve on the interrogator, and then you can start your transfer pump. Once the desired amount has been put in, the transfer pump can be stopped. The reload valve on the interrogator can be closed. You can close the valve on the tender, disconnect the hose, and you are ready to go back out and continue spreading. To reload the interrogator using the onboard pump, once we're attached to the tender, we can open up our fill port then come in here, we'll close our flow control valve. We'll open up the bypass. And then over at the keypad, first we'll close the sump valve. We'll turn on engine control, product pump. And at this time, we can adjust the amount of agitation as well as the engine speed to get the desired loading that we want. If you're in auto agitation and you adjust the agitation here, it will take the auto agitation to off. And you'll have to turn that back to on when you get back up inside the cab. Once the tank is nearing full, we can throttle the engine back down. Once we have the amount of product in there that we want, we come and close off the engine, shut off the pump. We can then go and close our fill valves, open up the flow control, close down the bypass, and the last thing we'll do is we'll open up the sump valve, and we're ready to go back out and apply.